So welcome back. We rejoined the action of my Prussian army versus the Austrian AI. You can notice that this time I have already taken out the flags, which I feel adds a little bit of more realistic gameplay, let's call it that. I mean, without the flags, even doing battles without the flags, it's much more hard to distinguish your troops from, from the enemies and to know in which state your troops are, are in, because you don't have that handy flashy icon telling you that. So it, it further reduces your your possible time of reaction. So it makes the game a bit more realistic. In reality, orders had to be sent and received and fulfilled. And in this game, we have the ability to change things instantly, which is not realistic at all. So this, together with line of sight, no matter how badly the AI, AI uses it, is a bit of a game breaker. Now, a bit about my deployment. Um, I'm deploying, as you can see, in what I consider to be a, a sturdy and strong position. My idea in this deployment was, I sent a unit of line, deployed in line, over through the main canyon, occupying as max the maximum of it as possible. I have here my Hussars in the front scouting, checking out for enemy units. Um, with uh, two of these, two other units of line heading for one flank together with some guns, I gave myself a 3 pounder, a 6 pounder, and a 12 pounder. And uh, on this flank, it's my strongest flank, I have two units of grenadiers, of grenade, seven, several cavalry units, two units of line, and some Prussian Jaegers. Now, as a reserve, I left these two units over here. From this point in the path they can go either way, depending on the battle on how the battle was going from my side. These positions also are surrounded by forests and as I said in the previous video, forests are very hard to pass, so it provides me it provides me some amount of protection. I left two of my cavalry units here behind this slope so just that I wouldn't be outflanked through this path over here. And for them to reach my artillery wagons or whatever I have in the back. Now you see my grenadiers went through the forest, it was an error of mine, and we see that battle was joined. This cavalry charge, I managed to stop my energy time to be still and receive that charge. Oh sorry, this is not my cavalry charge, not the cavalry charge yet, sorry, it's my Hassas going through the middle of my line, because we are being pursued by, pursued by a unit of Gracias. And they're, they're, the AI is trying to outflank me through the forest. So their idea was for a unit to hit me in the front and another unit in the back. And what happened here was, as I was reacting to this cavalry unit, because you have to time your charge just right to cause an almost instant rout. So I charged, I charged their Osars with these two units of Gracias. And uh, my cavalry here was an... Uh, Orders to counterattack, if I recall correctly, because they still tried to get going even though they were charged. And what happened was that I forgot to engage fire at will from this line of uh, infantry on again, and instead focus on the cavalry battle that was happening. My units behaving a bit erra erratically, not anything we're not expecting. And anyway, they find they managed, I managed to rot them even without my Ozars, but I decided to bring my Ozars to my right flank as well to give an extra force of cavalry and I have my other Corassias regrouping here the Corassias that were already here my two units that were used to rock this one anyway um, meanwhile my line keeps pushing forward and that cavalry is going to engage my line infantry and one of the ni nicest things in this mod is that even without fire at will they are still able to receive a, cavalry, a frontal cavalry charge if they are prepared to it, if they are standing, encouraged, you know, fresh or with high cohesion, as it should probably be called in this mod. Anyway, my cavalry is resting, and my infantry is arriving, and my artillery in the back. This game, it was very hard, this map is not very good for artillery, and I have a difficult position positioning my batteries. Being the end result that they all ended up playing some sort of 
close close support field, close support close support row. Now, as I was sending my two units on the right flank, I noticed that the these guys were holding, but they were losing men. And after, even after engaging fire at wheel on, it was they were not firing because they were engaging in the melee. So I actually diverted one of these from the initial deployment here, so they could fire some, some pour some flanking fire on these cuirassiers and cause them to rot, rot, and rot in hell. Anyway, so my deployment keeps on going with not much, no, not a lot of action in, at this stage of the battle. I placed my left flank the strongest because ah here. A unit of the Cuirassiers tried to charge my light infantrymen, and I realized that. Another thing that flags are handy, by the way, is that uh, it's harder to see enemy units. Even if they are visible, it's harder for you to spot, spot them. Anyway, these Cuirassiers were charging, so I ordered my skirmishing Jaegers, that they actually have a decent field inside the forest, to fire on the forest constrained and morale damaged Cuirassiers. Uh, and that was enough to rot them with two casualties. These guys are very accurate, they're very good. So, I'm reforming my cavalry. Three units of Gracias. I decided to take my cavalry, all my cavalry out of the right flank because this flank was just to hold them, so to speak, while my left, left flank built up a strength to really attack. And this flank did quite a wonderful job, as you'll see further, further ahead in the video. Anyway, now the Hungarian saws that I routed came back and tried to route my hussars back. And so I'm just counter-turning it. Ah, just to finish my previous thought, sorry. Uh, my left flank is stronger also because it's the region of conversion of the two, two AI enemy armies. It's a pity this this map is so poor. The map choice in Empire of the Lore is so poor because this map is actually good if you take out this central ugly structure, this what attempts to be a valley. It will be a very nice and I think the battle will be best fought. A better battle will be fought in this area. This is my opinion, of course. You see, my allies are going to engage with the AI. The Allied cavalry charge in which they send their unit of dragoons, and my Assas are wisely retreating. Why face the enemy head on in the canyon if you can have uh, flanking support of Gracias? Yes. 